This is the dad, and this is the DVD preview of the Parents and Coaches Recruiting Workshop 2008 featuring Reggie Rankin from ESPN Scouts.inc. Head Coach Terry Dunn from Dartmouth. Steve Lutz from the SMU Mustangs. And the incomparable Herb Sendek from Arizona State. And last but not least, Houston's Mr. Basketball from RCS Sports, Jim Cheat Sheet Hicks. So let's get to it. Opportunity to go through this recruiting process if it's your personal son and our daughters. So it's very important. And I noticed you have a different triangle. You have a summer coach, you have a high school coach, and you have your parents, you guys yourselves. And what happened is at the end of the day is something in most cases, in very few cases, put it like that, very, very rarely does is a kid or in a situation where the parent, the high school coach, and the summer coach, whatever, get to go and dictate or write their own script in this recruiting process. It's not an easy task. You can't write your own script. Everybody would love to go and go to the highest of Division I schools as possible, but it's, in reality, it's just not the case. So, but I truly believe that there's a school for everybody, for every kid. And so today, hopefully, you guys will accumulate enough information. You guys will take enough notes. And I hope, like Tech, you ask questions like it ain't no tomorrow with these coaches while they're here. The top 200 in each class. And, and we rank those kids. And the ways, ways that we rank them, we have our ESPN 100 which is our seniors. We have our uh, Super 60 juniors. We have uh, our terrific 25 sophomores. And then we have what we call an ESPN watch list, where we go to events and if we see a, a young player, um, we make note of him and we try to follow him as he progresses and, and then move him into the rankings that way. Um, you know, when we, what we look for when we evaluate, obviously talent is, is the number one. Uh, issue. You, you, you want to evaluate the best talent that you can. But also, one of the things that I would like to get across to, to parents and relatives of players is that your kids must understand that they have to play hard at all times when they come to these events or whatever event, if it's their high school, regardless, because you never know who's in the gym watching you. And some kids, you know, they look at who they're playing against or they they, they come up with some kind of bailout where, where they don't apply themselves all the time. So when they, when they step on the floor, they should always give their best, regardless of the competition, where it is and who it is. The opportunity as a freshman, one, to get a great education, only exists if they take advantage of it if they take advantage of it. And if they go for basketball reasons only, they have squandered that opportunity. And in four years, if you have not been active in your own rescue, and really it's nobody's fault but theirs, but before that ever happens, you have to do a little research. Does the institution that you like, you're being offered a scholarship, academically does it fit? Do they have the major that you want? The interest that you want? How many years would it take for your major? What if you change your major? What if it takes five years? Is it paid for? Do you pay for it? Those are the things you have to ask. Academic support systems. Do you have a tutorial program? Do you have academic advisors who are actively involved in helping you chart your act, not only your academic career, but your professional career? And a couple guards, fairly hard. 
I'm not going to tell you if those kids are ranked in the top 150 in the country or in their top 500 in the country, because to us it doesn't matter. We value young men that are sound academically, that are good people, that are good students, that are good players, and have a, an interest in going beyond basketball and doing something with their degree once the ball stops bouncing. Um, the other way that we get a lot of our prospects is through word of mouth. You know, we call around to various high school coaches, we call around to various AAU coaches, and a lot of the time, I, find, I seem to find our best prospects by saying, hey, Coach Wiley, I know that uh, you're, you're halfway through district. Who was the best two or three players within your district that you faced this year? And then we follow up and research from there. In our follow-up and our research, probably the first thing that we're going to do and request is their academic transcript. Because no matter if you're at SMU or if you're at Stephen F. Austin, which I worked, where I worked previously, that's the most important thing to determine if they're going to be able to come to your university. Sometimes put dots on each other's foreheads if we don't measure up in some way, if we're not good enough, and as you enter this next phase with your son, recruiting, that competition becomes more fierce. And sometimes it can lead to some anxiety, even some fears. So I just want to pause and remind everybody about something that we already know but it's important to keep it in mind. And that is this, sports, in our case basketball, is simply what our sons do. It is not who they are. Their value, as you know better than anyone, being their mom, being their dad, or their worth, isn't a function of how many points they score, whether they can play Division I, whether someday they can make it to the NBA. Their value is far greater than that. And it's not a function of what they do. And they need to be reminded of that regularly. Because it's so easy to over-identify with what we do to the extent that we forget who we are. Sometimes that leads to big heads and guys assuming that they're entitled to certain things and better than their classmates. In other cases, when they get knocked down, when they're criticized, when they don't make certain goals, if they've over-identified with what they do, if their whole identity is formed around being a basketball player, it could be a mighty fall. So let's make sure to remind our sons, our daughters, that their worth and value is not a function of their three-point shot but they can use sports as a means to so many wonderful other ends. Well, we hate to stop, but this is the end of the Parents and Coaches Recruiting Workshop 2008 DVD Preview. But the good news is you can order your own DVD online. Just visit www.basketballconnection.net and order your own DVD. Well, this is the dad. We'll see you next year at the 2009 workshop, which will be held the first Sunday in October 2009 in Houston, Texas.